Thanks. Yeah. Why are you getting up on your day off? Uh, not much. Well, we can't have that. Why don't you have the shops? I don't really need it. Get your nails done or a facial on me. Thanks. I'm not in the mood. A foot massage. I'll book an appointment. Lee, will you stop? Someone rubbing me toes. No thanks. I'm going for a stroll. I cracked my collarbone training. Do you have to wear the sling? Look, the whole team's seen what happened. No one's going to connect it to Will. And dial it down. What? Well, go shop and have a massage. I'm being nice. No, you're being over the top, so just stop. And here. Next time you get a letter offering you to move to the UK, don't leave it on the table for Matt to read. Did she see it? No, I shoved it in my pocket. So when are you going? says I am. Your app investor wants you to? It's not the right time. Rubbish. The time couldn't be better, especially with everything. You're being paranoid, bro. Zach? Do I know you? I'm Michelle. Vinny sent me. She couldn't make it. Okay. I've heard loads about you. You shifted a month's worth of pills in a week. Mm, beginner's luck. There's a bonus in there, too. Cool. Vinny wants to meet you this afternoon. What time? Quarter to three. Well, she could have paid me then instead of sending you. I said I'd take care of it. What are you, her PA? What's your problem? You got paid on time, didn't you? Mm, fair enough. I'm texting you my number now. And Zach, don't be late. OK. Yeah, so you won't have to babysit. She's gone over to our pal's house. Well, I'm happy to do it. I'd walk Ruthie over there after school. Oh, cheers. We're going to be jammers today. Got a big booking in. Hey, Paul. Hey. Could you live without me in Vino's today, even for a couple of hours? Are you joking? No. Oh, well, is everything OK? Yeah, I just, I just need to go shopping badly. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise it was an emergency. No, it's, it's not for me. It's for Junior. He's welded into a school jumper. Yeah, well, I've got some of Root's old jumpers over there. I'll dig them out, so, you know, problem solved. Great. You're welcome, by the way. No, it's super, thank you. See you in ten? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Save you a trip to town. I don't need a school jumper, Cass. I need a place to stay. Why? Neve finally agreed to get the house insulated, but never told me when it was happening. The build arrived yesterday without any notice. Oh, dear. Yeah, I asked her could she hold off for a while until I get sorted, but no, no, no. She wasn't having any of it. It was booked in and that was it. It, it shouldn't take that long. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Until the builders oh. took one look at the wiring and... Don't tell me. Yep, they need to rip the whole thing out. Oh, big job. Big bill. Which happily be winging its way to Neve all the way in sunny Fiji. It's like... It's going to be dust everywhere, Cass. Even when they're finished for the day, it's just going to be hanging in the air. Can't be good for the chest. Especially juniors. Uh, not a bother on him lately. No, I know that. It's just... It's a little immune system. It's not A1 after the transplant. Well, I'd offer you both a bed, but Alwyn's in the spare room. Uh, Cass, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not fishing. Seriously, you know. It's just a minor inconvenience. Just muddle through for a few days. Yeah, more like a few weeks, but sure, look. Haven't I handled worse? That's the spirit. Hey, uh, hey you were up at that early. Yeah, I was helping a maid. Huh? <gasps> oh, Olivia. Olivia, look. Guess what your favourite brother got you? <gasps> look. That's lovely. What? <laughs> you want to be Olivia's dog? Oh, sure thing. <gasps> look at hey! Them. Look at him. Who got her that? <laughs> her favourite brother. <laughs> The size of it? Yeah, might be less hassle than a real dog. Oh, you're as good. Got something for you, too. Sack. Do you like it? Don't be spending your money on us. Yeah. It's the least they can do for putting up with me. You're only doing a few shifts in the station. You must have blown all your wages on this. No, uh, lad I know from college is doing house removals. Gave him a dig out today and he threw me a few quid. Hey, that's great. Yeah, said there's more work coming up, too. Handy cash. 
Well, no more splash in the cash. Put some of it in the bank or a post office. Yeah, good advice there. Oh, but thank you. This is gorgeous. This is not a criticism, but personally, I find it more productive if I'm not staying off in space. Oh, really? So have you found the wine suppliers to confirm tonight's booking while I was out here doing this? Mm -hmm. Mm, don't worry, I'm on it. Everything OK? Yeah, okay, don't worry. That's just that you seem a bit, um... Oh, this should be good. Never mind. Frazzled, wrecked. Insert insult here. Come on, let's play the game. It's really fun. I was going to say distracted. Well, I'm a little overworked. My boss, you know. Tough, is he? Oh, nothing I can't handle. Yeah. But seriously, everything's OK, yeah? I'm going to have to be straight with you, Paul. Rapture has me worn out. Throwing themselves at you, are they? Oh, like moths to a flame. Is that so, mm. now? You know, I'm going to have to get very selective, whittle it down to a short list. Mm. So tell me, what kind of candidates are we talking about? Tall. Mm. Solvent. Preferably. Mm. Good sense of humour. Likes kids. Spontaneous and romantic. Well... <laughs> so you wouldn't uh, spontaneously have a look around the place and see if anybody wants something to eat or all that? Paul, you're ruining my daydream. Tough boss, remember? I'm completely terrified. <laughs> hey. Do you have a roll of catering foil I can borrow? A delivery guy is late. Sure. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. Can't be easy. Well, one day at a time. Thanks, Lee. Uh, how's Phoebe? Ah, oh, it's very hard on her. Uh, how's the hockey going for her? Uh, pretty good. It's a distraction. She could travel the world with the Irish team. Yep. Hopefully she stays injury free. Fingers crossed. She could have played Camogie for Dublin easily. Do you think she'll regret that down the line? Why are you asking me all this? I'm interested. And how well do you know Phoebe? I'm not that well. I mean, I've seen her around. Sorry, I have to get back to the shop. Yeah. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Sorry? Why are you going on about Phoebe's hockey career to Mairead? And what's it to you? She's a friend. She's had a tragedy in her life, and here you are avoiding questions on her. Give her some space, yeah? Whatever. Hi, Mr. Lennon. Michelle, isn't it? Yeah. Where is he? He should be here any minute. He better be. When's your trial coming up? It's in a few months. You know what to do. Oh, it's so rude. Good girl. There he is. Zach, uh, this is Richie Lennon. Mr. Lennon, this is Zach Dylan. Where's Vinny? Otherwise engaged. Sit down. I've heard a lot of good things about you. Me? Your sales are through the roof. Vinny calls him your superstar. You're still here. Sorry, I'll go. Now, get this fella a coffee first. Sure. Your boss Vinny has moved on. Where's she gone? Pastures new. I'm looking for someone to run things from now on. Michelle. She has a few things coming up that will Take up our time. Vinnie might know someone who could do it. She already suggested someone. You. You're getting a promotion. It's really nice to be asked. 
But I, uh... That he must be so chuffed. Been a long day, Michelle. So we're good then. Yeah. Yes. I'll get a phone dropped off later. They'll have all the numbers you need. Uh, no, I'm not sure about this. The thing is, I was happy enough the way things were. I'm a busy man. I, I took the time out to meet you. You haven't even thanked me for giving you this opportunity yet. Thank you. Dinner al fresco. What could be better? Well, to be honest, I could think of a lot of things. House. Our house is all dirty. Yeah, it's only going to be for a while. Look, go on, go play in the swings. Good boy. I was thinking about your sticky wicket. OK, go on. What about Pete's rented house? 41. It's still vacant. And Dolores wouldn't want to see you stuck. Are you sure about that? Whatever your differences of late. I mean, she'd hate to think of her grandson living in a building site. No, you're right. Anyway, I've run out of ideas. So, ex-mother-in-law, here I come. Oh, yes. Hey. I just saw some workmen leaving your place. Are you dicking the place up? Oh, don't mention the war. Neve wants the house insulated, now they have to rewire too. It's a filthy old job. Oh, I'm fully aware of that, Paul. Oh, what about the pot? They're fully booked this week and next. But... I might ask Pete if number 41 is an option. You're not serious. But it's only for two weeks. It doesn't matter. You're going to go cap in hand to Dolores and ask her to, to rescue you? No, I'm going to ask Pete. Same difference. What choice do I have? Exactly. Can you imagine how smug face when you rock up with your paw out now? Yeah, well, I'm just going to have to be the bigger person. Yeah, well, she's going to remind you of this forever. How she took you in, put a roof over your head. Yeah, and I'm just going to have to suck it up because that's what mothers do and needs be, and needs be. Now, Junior, we're going to go see your nanny. Cool. You're going to make your granny's day when she sees you. Oh, Lorna. Hello. Hi, Pete. Um, listen, I was, I was wondering could I ask you a favour, a big one? Yeah, ask away. Great. Listen, um, I was wondering, could me and Junior stay in number 41 while they're working on our house? Uh, will you give me a sec? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, you see, the thing is, um, they're replacing the boiler in 41 this week. O otherwise, you're more than welcome, you know. All right, yeah, I see. Um, is there any chance that we could stay in your spare room? I mean, I wouldn't ask, but I'm in a real jam. Oh, no, 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 I'm afraid not. You see, the thing is, there we have someone coming to stay. Yeah, yeah, of course, OK. Yeah, chat soon. Okay. What did she want? Uh, Orla, she was, uh, she was asking me something. What? Uh, the kitchen door, uh, it's a squeaky or something. Uh, I said I'd take a look at it soon enough. You can't avoid to fix that. Is she called you just for that? Yeah. But she's little to be worrying her. Mm. Thanks for that. No problem. Your life's Day off. Sorry? Not working today. No. Lady of leisure. Sharon. What? Enjoy every minute. You're always on the go. Thanks. Michelle, what just happened? I didn't have a choice. Can you come over? I want to talk. Please. OK. Will you be in later? Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks. Now, Mr Woofy just had his first walk in the park. She's been glued to him all morning, huh? Hello. <clears throat> oh. ah, you're miles away. Yeah, sorry. Ah, you look hassled. Why would I be? I don't know who are you on the phone to. You tell me. 
Ah, it's that fella from the removals thing. He's looking for me to commit to certain days. I have to check my order in the station. Oh, well, sure, that's easy done. Just check with Sash. Yeah, I will. Right, are you sure that's it? Yeah, of course. Right, so, are we going to get Mr Woofy something to eat? Will we? Will we get Mr Woofy something to eat? Can I go to the again next week? Yeah, well, it's OK with our folks, it is. There's Junior. Oh, I see. Come on. You watched it? Hey! We're living with you for a week. Cool. Sorry, what? Yeah, like you said, we're bunking here until the work in ours is finished. He's not sleeping in my room. Yeah, well, me and Nora are going to have to have a little chat about that first, are we? Mm, have to then. Deadly. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, well, yeah listen, you two go on inside there. We just go Yeah, you'd be good, OK? Okay, keep it down there as well, all right? What's going on? Well, you gave me some super advice earlier, and I've taken it. I didn't go to Dolores. So you landed here then, yeah? Yes, because I was fully prepared to eat humble pie. But then your words kept on haunting me. All I can see are smoke face when you arrive with the paw out. I was only saying, look's your options, yeah, but that's Paul, all. I don't have any options. I'm out of them, all of them. So here I am. Becoming the local drug lord, was not on my bucket list. I'm sorry. You walked me right into it. I take it you said yes then. <laughs> yeah, he made it very clear there was no other choice. I didn't have one either. I was one of Vinny's runners and her house got busted and guess who took the rap for it? Why? Because she's higher up the food chain than me. My trial's in a few months and I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <sighs> How well do you know Richie? Is he dangerous? He's not as bad as you think. Okay, he is. But just follow the rules and you'll be fine. One more question. Where's Vinny? Is she in danger? Richie said she's gone to Pastures New. Is that code for something? No, Vinny's left this game. Yeah, just like that. No, she had to earn her way out. Hit a target for Richie and then find a replacement. Yeah, me. If it helps, she felt terrible. She liked you. Yeah. Funny way of showing it. I better go. Now, yeah, well, I hope you and Vinny have a nice life while I'm stuck here doing this crap. Can I give you some advice, Zach? Look at this as an opportunity at making some serious cash. Keep the head down and work hard. And what if we get caught? Then you know nothing and no one. You'll do a bit of time and Richie won't be out for blood. Do you think I'd be standing here today if I blab and the guards question me? Good luck. All right. I called into your house. Sharon said you were here. I'm just giving Leah a dig out. Anyone else around? Lee's around somewhere. Why? What's up? It's Lee I want to talk about. Why? You need to keep tabs on him. Sorry? He was hanging out in my raid earlier. It was like 20 questions. I didn't know about it. Well, he needs to leave her alone. What's all this? I'm only going to say this once. The pair of you are not to go anywhere near my raid and Phoebe. Do you hear me? OK. You know, it's the second time he's been on my case today. I'll talk to whoever I like. No, you need to cop yourself on. What exactly is your problem? I know what happened to Will. Can we all do? No, no. I'm not talking about what the rest of the world thinks they know. Or the guards. You were there, the both of you. Who told you that? Chair. Dean, please. Oh, I'm not going to be telling anyone. But you make sure he stops acting the ape. Since when do you get to tell me what to do? Since your aunt packed her bags and left to take the heat off you, Lee. So I suggest you show your gratitude by not acting like an idiot. Gratitude? You know she forced us into beating him up. Lee, shut up. Blackmailed us. Oh, we wouldn't have gone near him otherwise. And then we're supposed to be thankful. Get stuff. Rough him up, she said. Not kill him. We didn't. I didn't. Tell him. 
What's he talking about? Dean, don't do it. It was your punch that killed him. No, no. It was Jerry. She finished him off. No, she only told you that because she didn't think you could hack knowing you were a killer. Aaron? No. She told me not to tell you. I'm going to be keeping my eye on both of you. Do you understand me? Okay. Education fund. Are you for real? She has to pay for college. And there's only Marade's income to support her now. Random neighbor sets up fund. That's not suspicious. We need to set some ground rules. Ground rules? Yeah, to avoid any more um, incidents. This sounds juicy. The boss isn't into that. Am I seeing things? Carol. Are you dealing in my back?